Hi, my name is Chris Little, and I am the host of The Lifestyle Chase. In 2018, I started this show to have meaningful conversations. I've interviewed over a hundred different people, both in and out of the fitness industry. This podcast is something I'm incredibly proud of. Welcome to season four. Thanks for joining me. Um, with within like you you talked about books that you read and just like i can imagine as you train that volume of clients you would have had to get better and better at like relationship building and uh like communication uh with with regards to that topic like what are what are the biggest insights that you've come across in your life and career so far with regards to relationship building there's really one which is a filter that I run almost all my decisions through, which is have I really understood what the other person is thinking? And a part of that, th- th- that extends. And it's so easy to get into our own head, especially with filter bubbles that surround us and online these days. But like, have you considered what the other person wants? Because the only real way to get what you want is to get other people what they want. There, there's really not that much more to it than that. And so I'm, I, I'm constantly trying to think in any relationship and any negotiation and anything like that, like, what does the other person really want here? Because it's often, it often comes down to sex or status, to be honest. It's usually not money. And so I'll give you one example, one, one very specific example for personal training, generating referrals. A lot of trainers pay lip service to how referrals are important. And referrals are probably one of the most important things in your business. You don't generate referrals by giving somebody a gift card for some nominal amount to a coffee shop. It's, that's a reactionary measure that might be appreciated as a surprise, but it is in no way, shape, or form going to elicit any of the behaviors that you wanted to elicit, which is somebody going out of the way to refer. I mean, if you think about... If you think about what you're doing, you're basically saying to your customers as a pure economic transaction, which once you introduce those, those social norms and those economic norms, and you don't, you can't muddy the two. And so if you ask somebody to do something for you and they'll do it out of the kindness of your heart, you don't want to give them money for it because then you introduce economic norms. And so as a pure economic transaction, you're basically saying to somebody, hey, go out of your way and send me a customer that you know is going to be worth a lot of money to me. And in return, I'll give you a tiny little bit of that back in some sort of token gesture that isn't in all the way meaningful to you. It's not really a good transaction. But if you think about why people actually take action for the most part, it's actually status. This idea of, I know a guy, I know a gal. This idea that you figured something out or that you can represent yourself as being somebody who's accomplished something is actually going to lead to more referrals than anything else. And so what you need to do is you need to, you need to figure out a way to give your clients a way to allow themselves to represent themselves as the type of person who is fit, who is healthy and provide the tools to show that off. And so I used to give an award away to my clients. I created a monthly award called the half badge, which I, which stood for hard as fuck. And I made it with Microsoft paint. This is way back in the day, ripped an image illegally off of the internet. Right. And on Microsoft paint, I just drew the letters HAF onto it and I printed it out and I gave it to a client once a month. And I took a picture with that client and I had a, a, a blog at this point, like a, just a, like a personal blog. And I wrote about them and I wrote about how they were half. And I told all my clients about this. And, and my clients all of a sudden now, you know, they're, they're sharing on, this is as Facebook was coming up. So they're sharing on Facebook. They're sending around the articles to their friends, you know, that they're half. They're talking, they're, pu- they're putting my little like piece of paper. That's all it was. It was a printed piece of paper of this image, right? up on their like fridge at home. And then friends, when we could still get together in person, friends would come over to their house and, and, um, 
and and look at it and ask what it was. And by the way, now I came up and I'd get a phone call. And then clients would say, oh, was that workout half? Was that workout half? And um, that was a great way to generate clients. Holiday codes. I mean, when a client hits any kind of a goal, like send them a handwritten code in the mail, like those are actually great ways to generate referrals because there are ways for clients to showcase what they're doing and represent themselves as the type of person that does this thing that society deems to be positive, thereby increasing their status. And they're going to talk about you more. And so it's like, it, it goes back to the same thing. Like what does the act, other person actually really want or desire? And can you design into what you're doing a way to give them that? And you're going to get what you want as a result. 